Hello everyone, we're talking about heating of your outdoor living space. We're getting to those winter months. We wanna heat our space so we can stay outside. We're gonna to talk to you about eight different ways to heat your outdoor living space right now. Enjoy. All right, number one, what do you think it is? Of course, it's an outdoor wood-burning fireplace, number one. And here's some examples of classic wood-burning fireplaces. They're the best heat that you can imagine. They're that just that classic heat. You're gonna get the nice wood coals, and it's just a lot of warm temperature. So we love the classic heat of a wood-burning, and why is that? It's because it really does get all of the senses involved. You have the looks, of course, it's beautiful look. You see the flames dancing, but you also get a, the, the smell, that smell of the smoke of a wood-burning fireplace. It can't be beat. It takes you right back to memories of childhood around the campfire. But it also is the sound. That snap, crackle, and pop of a fire is just really nice. It almost mesmerizes you, and it puts you in a little trance and kind of relaxes you, really. So. Those are the three things that I really appreciate about a wood-burning fireplace and strongly recommend them if you can in your outdoor space. Some people, because of local code, they can't do a wood-burning fireplace in their backyard. And if you can't, it's okay, just do a gas one. You have a lot of the benefits with the gas. You just don't have that snack, that snap, crackle, and pop that you do with the fire. The next choice, number two, of course, is an outdoor heater. It's probably the reason you're watching this video. I would strongly recommend electrical outdoor heaters for your outdoor space. We have two that we recommend, Bromic and Infratech. Now these are electrical outdoor heaters that either attach to the side of a beam of your outdoor space, or they could be mounted underneath the space like you're seeing right here. Now both of these outdoor heaters, electrical outdoor heaters, are wonderful at really displacing a lot of heat for your outdoor space. So look at all of the different ways that you can do electrical heaters in your outdoor space right here. So you have either a two mount system where you have the fireplace in the middle and you have on either side heaters pointing down to the space. Now surprisingly, these two heaters with the fireplace do a very good job of heating that outdoor space. Here are some examples of three heaters. So three walls of the outdoor space with the fireplace really does provide a tremendous amount of heat for that outdoor space. And then look at this one. There is two heaters per beam of this structure. This is a 16 by 16 structure with a fireplace as well. And now this, it's almost funny, the, the wife of this homeowner joked that he was going to tan while he was outside watching the football game in the middle of winter because it's so hot in this outdoor space. Okay, for the third idea to heat up your outdoor living space, this is going to be a fun one that you might not have ever thought about, but it's closing in your space. I don't know if you can see this, but we have screens in this outdoor space that they close the whole space and they basically make it a little bit weather tight. So that's a very good idea, especially if you live in a colder climate. You can have this indoor-outdoor room where you create a whole outdoor living room. For the summer months, they're all open, and then you just close it on down for the winter months. Now, I just want to say this. With these screens, they, you obviously have to open them up, and then all that cold air comes in. But you could even do a, com a completely enclosed room where you have a door, you can screen in the rest of the space, and it's that real, true outdoor, indoor, outdoor living vibe. A lot of people call that a man cave or a she shed, but that's the thought, is you completely enclose the outdoor space, it's a nice destination out, but now you can really keep the heat in that outdoor room because it's all closed off to the elements. Another thing about these outdoor rooms is you really are at nature, at one with nature, I should say, the, a simple either flip of the switch and all of a sudden you're back into open air. These screens really do allow you to be at one with nature. They're called the E-Zip Shade Solution. And they're basically just a woven mesh, fabric mesh, very strong though. And they, they prevent the weather, so like the wind from entering, the rain from entering, and they do a great job of keeping the heat in. 
So, but I love these because they also let you see out. So you're, you're still kind of at one with nature, but you're in a heated outdoor room. So really consider this, but I also want to say this, that if you do have more of a enclosed area, the nice thing if you were to look off camera, we're in a, a kind of a covered area with two solid walls. We have three little windows here that we could then close up with shutters or any other way that you want to do it. But you could create an indoor outdoor environment with a couple of screens and then two walls of the structure. And all of a sudden you have that very nice area, even in a very cold climate, you could be outside during that time. All right, so the number four way to heat your outdoor living space, even during the coldest winters, is a fire pit. Now you're thinking, of course, what is, just a second, that's just like a fireplace, but it is a lot different than a fireplace. A fire pit usually, of course, is in a central area. So you can imagine a, a fire pit in the center of the area. Now that really is centralizing the heat of that outdoor living space. And you might have seen a lot of these on Pinterest. They're really popular, in fact, on Pinterest and on house.com where you see a fire pit underneath a structure. Now, really think about this. The, the, I guess the negative that I would say about a fire pit in an outdoor structure is it really limits you to your room. You have a fire pit in the middle of the space, so how are you going to decorate and how are you going to hang out in the space? You really kind of have to own the outdoor living space for the fact that it's a fireplace or a fire pit destination. So think about that. I would maybe strongly encourage you to consider looking at other designs, but make sure you design the space. Now here's some examples of a fire pit that we actually did on the edge of the structure. So this is a fire pit and it has a reflection wall. So a, a typical fire pit, the heat goes up, and then it also goes out. So we just try to reflect that heat right back into the space. And this did a very nice job of heating up that outdoor structure for the homeowner, even during the winter. Another fun way to heat up an outdoor structure or an outdoor living space is a hot tub, surprisingly. Now, a lot of people, they, they think when they get a hot tub, they're gonna cover the hot tub. I always encourage to not cover the hot tub. I shouldn't say always, but a lot of times. Because when you put a hot tub under a structure, you're kind of owning the structure, just like we just talked about with the fire pits, you're owning that space being dedicated to a, a hot tub destination. If you do choose to do a hot tub in a covered structure, the cool thing about that is you do have some ability to kind of warm up the space due to the thermals that are coming right out of that hot tub. So you have the heat that's rising, it's gonna be captured in the, the covered structure, and of course you're probably gonna be in the hot tub you can even put a TV, you can have a fireplace, you can have a lot of outdoor living amenities right next to you, but you're sitting in the hot tub nice and warm and cozy, and you're also heating up the outdoor space. So if somebody is outside enjoying the area without being in the hot tub, they're gonna be warmer because of that hot tub. Something to think about, if you did choose this, I would recommend doing a larger structure. I would recommend doing a two room structure, in fact, and have a dedicated area of that structure for your hot tub destination. Okay, the next thing you can do to heat up your outdoor living space is a tower propane heater. Now, what are the benefits of a tower propane heater? Well, it gets the heat up and then it broadcasts it out very nice and it's free form because it's propane. So it's really, and it's also movable. So you can move it to whatever area you need to move it to. So think about this, it's an inexpensive, when you're comparing it to all the other ones, this is an inexpensive way to really have a nice, uh, flexible, heated area for your outdoor space. Okay, so the next way to heat up your outdoor living space would be a gas heater attached to your structure. Now we talked about electrical. I prefer electrical, just to let you know. If you're going to really strongly consider this as, as a homeowner, I would recommend electrical heat for the space. They're great, they're gonna really, speed, uh, really heat up the space. All right, the last one, this is the mystery one that you've been waiting for, and I think it's gonna be one of your favorite ones. It's a blanket. <laughs> you laugh at that, but you will be shocked at even restaurants that are in cold climates, they bring out blankets for their clients. And that's something to think about. No matter how much heat you have, a blanket is still going to give you that added little bit of comfort that you want. And that little bit of heat that you just, you just want to cuddle up and enjoy that outdoor space. 
enjoy the friends, and you're just all bundled up in your blankets. Now, we lots of different blankets you can recommend. You can do a full, like, like thick blanket, or you could have some of the thermal blankets that are lighter, that are very easy to pack and to be able to offer to a guest that's out there. Even in the dead of winter, you can have these blankets available. Heat up the space, do the barbecue, do the outdoor fireplace, maybe the TV with the football game on, and you're hanging out enjoying that time together. Even in the winter, blankets are not only fun for warming, they're fun for just decorative purposes. They're, they're there, they're fun. They really are fun. So even in the summer months, and we have, we live in a very um, mild climate. So even in the summer months, sometimes even on a hot night, people will want to bundle up with their blanket. So they're just nice to have available. So have a little storage area. Again, they're decorative. It's just nice to have being outdoors, extending those evening hours, even if people are a little cold, bundle up with a blanket, and you really are truly good to go for that evening. All right, so we just taught you eight ways to heat up your outdoor space. I appreciate you watching this, but I wanna show you, if you haven't gotten the outdoor space yet, think about what are the different ways to build an outdoor covered structure area. Really important for you to think about, and here's a whole video on that. Watch that right now and then think about how to heat up the space.